I'm with Dr. William Ross, a vitreo retinal surgeon at St. Paul's Hospital. Dr. Ross, tell me a bit about the William H. Ross Fellowship in Vitreo Retinal Excellence and what it has been like to work with the fellow so far. Well, it's been a wonderful opportunity to uh, take young doctors who are very enthusiastic and skilled and bring them to the highest level. This fellowship was started uh, because of the generosity of Gwyn Morgan and Patricia Trotter, who donated uh, $1.3 million to the St. Paul's Foundation so that uh, we could be involved in training vitreo retinal surgeons for the next 25 years. Uh, every year we get 62 applications for two positions that we offer in vitreo retinal surgery and uh, the top applicant who is, has the highest scores and who is considered to be exceptional is, is known as the um, Ross Morgan Fellow. Uh, we have now trained five fellows uh, from, from across the world. Uh, we had uh, one from Vancouver who is now practicing uh, at the eye care center. We've had uh, two from Australia, uh, one from Quebec City, and one from New York City. Uh, we have an international uh, reputation for excellence in vitreo retinal surgery, so we uh, have uh, very exceptional candidates applying to work with us. Great. And what inspired you to create the Morris and Sarah Ross Fellowship in Vitreo Retinal Surgery? And can you tell me a bit about this fellowship? Well, thanks to the uh, innovation and the generosity of Gwyn Morgan and Patricia Trotter, I decided to form a fellowship to honor my parents. I, I established the Morris and Sarah Ross Fellowship in International Vitreo Retinal Surgery. And what I'm doing is uh, bringing doctors from developing countries to Canada to train as vitreo retina surgeons and have them return to their countries of origin where they can make a big difference in providing state-of-the-art surgical and medical care for retinal diseases. Up to now, uh, we, have tr we have been able to find four very deserving uh, specialists who are training in Canada uh, in the next four years, we hope to, tr to train another four or five surgeons, uh, either in Canada or in Australia or in the United States. And my, uh, our uh, Ross Fellowship, in honor of my parents, supports these fellows by providing them with $50,000 of uh, funding as a scholarship during their training. They then return to their country of origin and. Uh, are very actively involved in providing state-of-the-art care to the entire populations of their different specific countries. And Dr. Ross, you have many career accomplishments to your name. Which one are you the most proud of? I'm most proud of the fact that I started the fellowship here at UBC with Dr. Alan Maberly in 1984. And we have now trained 46 surgeons from across the world, uh, 27 Americans, uh, approximately 10 Canadians and uh, 8 Australians. And they are now providing excellent care either in the United States, Canada or Australia. And uh, we have brought them to the highest level. They're all superior surgeons. They're all leaders in their field. So at UBC, we have really been very fortunate in attracting the highest level of candidates to serve as uh, fellows in our program and return to Canada, America, or Australia and become leaders in their field in those countries. Fantastic. Thank you very much. You're welcome.